Hello there, fellow passengers on the struggle bus. We're all just trying to navigate this chaotic thing called life. What if I told you some of those good habits you've been diligently cultivating are actually secretly stressing you out? We're going to look into 12 common habits that might be cranking up your anxiety without you even realizing it. Buckle up, buttercup, it's about to get enlighteningly uncomfortable. Let's kick things off with the black hole that is your inbox. Constantly checking your email keeps you tethered to a state of low-grade panic. It's like a digital leash yanking you back from any chance of actual relaxation. You're trapped in a reactive cycle at the mercy of every notification, and trust me, your nervous system hates it. Ah, the early riser. Waking up before dawn might work for some, but for others it's a recipe for a day marinating in anxiety. The pressure to conquer the world all before 8am is enough to make anyone want to crawl back into bed. Remember, rest is not a sin, and sometimes the most productive thing you can do is allow yourself to sleep in. Now I'm all for a healthy diet, but when you find yourself spiralling into a gluten-free, dairy-free, fun-free abyss, it might be time to reassess. The relentless pursuit of dietary purity can morph into an unhealthy obsession, turning every meal into a minefield of potential slip-ups. Remember, food should nourish your body and soul, not fuel anxiety and guilt. Ah, uh, the siren song of the to-do list. While planning can be helpful, over-planning is like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. It's an exercise in frustration. Life is messy, things change, and sometimes, well, that impromptu coffee date is far more beneficial for your mental health than ticking off another box on your never-ending list. Let's be honest, social media is the ultimate highlight reel of curated perfection. The pressure to present a picture-perfect life, racking up likes and validation, can send your anxiety levels soaring. Don't buy into the hype, and for goodness sake, put down the phone and go live your actual life. Oh, coffee, you fickle friend. We rely on it to function, but then we're plagued by the inevitable crash, leaving us reaching for another cup, perpetuating the vicious cycle. Too much coffee can wreak havoc on your nervous system, leaving you feeling anxious, irritable, and like you could outrun a cheater on a sugar rush. Exercise is fantastic, it's true, but like anything, you can have too much of a good thing. When you find yourself consumed by calorie counts, pushing your body to the limit and feeling guilty for taking a rest day, it's time to take a step back. If it's become another source of pressure and anxiety, it's time to reevaluate your relationship with fitness. Saying yes to everything and everyone might make you seem agreeable, but it's a one-way ticket to Burnout City. The constant need to please, to avoid conflict, to be everything to everyone leaves you feeling drained, resentful, and like you've lost sight of your own needs. Remember, you can't pour from an empty cup, and sometimes saying no is the kindest thing you can do for yourself. Oh, the allure of just one more episode. But while it might feel like you're relaxing, those marathon viewing sessions can actually be messing with your sleep, your mood, and your overall stress levels. The constant stimulation prevents your brain from truly unwinding, and the emotional roller coaster of whatever drama you're engrossed in only adds to the mental clutter. We live in a culture that glorifies busyness, where productivity is worn like a badge of honor, but constantly being on is a recipe for disaster. Without adequate rest and relaxation, our stress levels skyrocket, leading to a whole host of physical and mental health issues. Striving to be the best version of ourselves is admirable, but the constant pressure to learn new skills, adopt new habits and achieve peak performance can be utterly exhausting. The relentless pursuit of self-improvement can lead to feelings of inadequacy, anxiety and the nagging suspicion that you're never quite enough. Remember, progress over perfection, my friend. A clean and organized home can bring a sense of calm, but when you find yourself scrubbing grout lines at 2 a.m. in a frenzy of anxiety-fueled cleaning, it might be time to reevaluate your priorities. The need to maintain a perpetually pristine living space can become an all-consuming obsession, robbing you of time, energy, and joy. Embrace the imperfections, the lived-in charm, and for goodness sake, don't let the dust bunnies win the battle for your sanity. So there you have it, folks. 12 seemingly harmless habits that might be secretly stressing you out. Sometimes the kindest thing you can do for your mental health is to relax your grip on the reins, embrace the chaos, and maybe, just maybe, let the dishes pile up for a day or two. Don't forget to subscribe and share your experiences in the comments below. Until next time, stay calm, my friend.